Tiger Cat 635D. I think it's either a 132nd or 135 scale. The, uh, the, the rear wheels <clears throat> do, uh, I don't know, that's called oscillate or pivot. Uh, walk and beam suspension. It, uh, oscillates pretty good. You could really put a rock under there for display. Pretty good. The uh, center section's pretty tight. Extremely tight. Not slopped out like I don't know some of the hurdle stuff I've seen before. <laughs> um, blade's got quite a bit of movement. Seems to be tight enough as uh, to hold the blade up. The blade cylinders aren't as tight as the uh, the other two Tiger Cat cutters I have. The uh, 870C and the, uh, was that 718, 720, whatever that is. <clears throat> but, uh, holds the blade up anyways. It's got some, uh, decent articulation turning. <clears throat> Just fell down. A little temperamental on that guy. As I said, it's, cylinder on that isn't as tight as the the Tiger Cat cutters I have. The uh, dual arch, boom there. Those cylinders seem to be well. I was going to say tighter, but uh, apparently not. But uh, they move very freely. But uh, Usually the more freely they move, the they don't hold in position for neat positioning on the shelf, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, because this is a pretty big, badass skitter, it's got a huge grapple that opens up really far. And uh, I assume if I close this, it will, uh, nothing stopping this from rotating 360. Let's see how tight that closes. Closes pretty tight. And that does rotate 360. I like to leave it a little bit open. And I had it all the way forward like that. Why? I don't know. I'd say I'd rate this as good as the two cutters I have, Tiger Cat. Um, for the 65 to 70 bucks from the Tiger Cat dealer, which by the way is a better deal than the sellers on eBay. I believe. I'm not trying to cut them off, but uh, don't want to hold up uh, a good buy for the collectors out there. Not to mention, I'd rather buy from a Tiger Cat dealer than a, a toy dealer, personally. Not to mention, I'd like to. Uh, I'd rather visit in person too. When I, uh, I can't remember the town in Alabama these came from, but. Uh, it was pretty cool to visit because they had um, two of the skitters, not the um, this size, but uh, like the 620. I wish I had a, um, I thought they made a, uh, before this series, I thought they made a 610 or 20, uh, just a four wheel machine. Wish I could find one of those. I'd like to find the Timberjack cutter of this. I think it's the 608S. I'd like to have that model. Um, 
but they had two of the brand new skitters and uh okay this isn't the 718 it's the 724g they had uh two of the wheeled machines like this might have been the 720 can't remember uh those were really cool to see in person and then on the other side of the dealership i didn't walk over and check out they had um the knuckle boom loaders um in stock but uh that was personally it's always fun to visit the uh the dealers than um getting a box that shows up on the front porch that uh came from ebay or something like to see the real machinery i think they told me the uh the new the new cutter on the lot was three hundred thousand. <laughs>